Okay. Hi everybody. I'm a little slow on the uptake about putting out another blog. I had major surgery last week, so I'm just kind of getting back on my feet. But uh, I wanted to show you that uh, I've just been really wanting to paint bears. And I had taken a photograph of this bear uh, to the right, I don't know, several years ago, but uh, I can't remember where I got him. And this one here, I, I, uh, we were out in bear country, South Dakota, about four years ago, and I must have taken, I don't know, a hundred shots, and I finally got the look I wanted in his eyes and his mouth. So I'm kind of happy with that. But I uh, blocked these two bears in, well, actually this one in with a lot of black and purple and burnt umber. And so I'll pull the hair out and make it look a little slick and wet in places. And then I'm gonna really concentrate on the paw here because I'm going to have water dripping off of his, off of his lung claws and uh, have his lip ruffled up over his teeth. And I'm kinda, kinda, I think I'm gonna kinda squint the eye to make it look like, uh, oh, I mean, he's really pensive. He's not paying attention to what anybody else is doing except for himself. But, and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the background. Actually, I may just bring in some blues and grays and some tans. And then the water, I'm gonna paint, I think, a light blue. And the rock in front, uh, a slick kind of sandy color with water spots and that sort of thing. but really create a lot of interest with the, with the hair. And uh, of course this one, I'm going to really have him coming out towards me and uh, paint that gorgeous big nose. And I may ruffle his mouth a little bit because bears have loose, loose lips. And uh, I don't want to overkill. But the beautiful thing about painting is if you don't like it, you can paint over it. So I guess that's um, I guess that's about it for now. Thanks for joining me. Uh, stay